President Trump is vacationing at his New Jersey golf club this weekend. Mr. Trump is expected to use part of the time to drum up support for Republican candidates in the crucial November elections. Weijia Jiang is covering the president, and she has the latest. Weijia, good morning. Good morning. President Trump is waking up to day two of his 10 day vacation in Bedminster. That will be a mix of pleasure and business. As you mentioned, he'll be taking day trips to campaign for Republican candidates who are racing in the midterm elections. In fact, he arrived in New Jersey on Thursday night after a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. And then he spent yesterday at his golf club. The president also tweeted an insult to NBA star LeBron James, who said during an interview with CNN, he believes the president is using sports to divide people. Mr. Trump wrote, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. The president also touted the booming economy, job creation, and unemployment, which ticked down to 3.9 percent. But back in Washington, his economic advisors are dealing with an escalating trade war with China. Beijing warned it will put tariffs on 60 billion dollars in U.S. goods, including coffee, if the U.S. moves forward with a proposal to place tariffs on $200 billion in Chinese imports. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo shifted the administration's message on North Korea, acknowledging there was still a ways to go to get North Korea to denuclearize. President Trump has said the U.S. was making significant progress. At a security forum in Singapore today, Pompeo shook hands with North Korea's foreign minister and delivered a letter from President Trump to Chairman Kim. Also weighing on the president, pressure to sit down for an interview with special counsel Robert Mueller in the Russia investigation. Those negotiations are ongoing, and his lawyers are still deciding how to respond to Mueller's latest request, which lays out all the ground rules. Well, tonight, President Trump heads to a suburb of Columbus, Ohio, to campaign for a state senator who is running for Congress. Back to you. Weijia Zhang with the president in New Jersey. Thanks.